now we come to accuracy precision and significant of digits we were discussing uh, dimensions and units but then when we are talking about units we need to also consider that when we are measuring something then there is we need accuracy precision and that kind of things in our scientific workout in our scientific calculation for the things for applications to uh, to work in a way that we want them to work and for that accuracy precision is so important and therefore when we are talking about dimension units and measurements then we need to know what do we call accurate what do we call precise if we have to take approximation where how much what do we call approximate and how good it is to justify it so these things similarly so in a unit if something goes uh, length or some other measurement if it has decimals attached to it then how many decimals we need to talk about how many in decimals where do we stop after five decimals three decimals or one decimal or what what is called accurate for us so on case to case basis it differs but then we need to consider and we need to take a uniform a decision about it in our calculations and in the values that we are talking this is a very important affair this is a very important thing for consideration in uh, scientific working and in development of machines vehicles anything that where precision and accuracy is involved we need this i give you an example one or two examples where these things are important and where they played such an important role that a wrong uh, approximation caused lot of disaster for example uh, in early 90s if i remember correctly a french rocket ariane was launched into space and uh, i think 5 billion dollars or more were spent on its development at the time as it were 7 seconds into the space the rocket blew up and everything was blown uh, and the the rocket was the it was uh, ran into pieces and uh, i think the uh, the the astronauts that were going in it they died so there was casualties uh, loss of life as well as there was loss of uh, all the money that was involved that was spent on that the time that was also used to develop it and so on so an inquiry was launched the inquiry uh, report is available even at net and other places and it turned out that what was the error the error was simply a false approximation that instead of uh, 24 digits the approximation was concluded at 18 digits or something like that so because six other digits were considered as insignificant and they were ignored but that resulted in huge loss monetary as well as life another example in uh, iraq war when iraq attacked kuwait or some other Uh, arabian countries again that was in 90s uh, a one of the rockets could not be blocked and it fired into uh, it, it it the the, the uh, american defense i think they were called called as parrot missiles uh, when they it was blown flown to stop the uh, scud missile it could not stop what was the result i think quite a large number of american army people they lost their life 
and uh, um, it was a disaster again. What was the problem? That in development of that anti-missile, uh, these the, the again the chip that was placed in it, it is uh, its its calculation were wrong, and instead of again taking it 36 decimal points, they concluded, uh, I think at a number, uh, if I remember correctly, it was 16 or something like that. But what is the difference? But the point that I'm trying to make is that if the precision and these numbers, the accuracy, the decimals, if they are calculated accurately, then it results in uh, that good, that much better appliances and they will deliver the results. If we cannot do that, if we ignore something, then we can, we are likely to run into any kind of problem. As I have given one or two examples, but there are a large number of such examples that are available. Therefore, accuracy and error. To reduce error is important and to make accurate calculations is important. However, for general daily life purpose, things are not as difficult as that and we can do manage with much easier situation. The value of one reading minus the true value is called the uh, accuracy. But closeness of the average reading to the true value is important. And we want to reduce that gap. The real value and one reading, the difference should be reduced to, let's say, theoretically or ideally, zero to remove any error. But if uh, the, the, the difference has some value, then that is reflecting the inaccuracy or the error uh, in experimental results and theoretical values. One of the value of one reading minus the average readings is precision error. So there is a general error, then there is a precision error. Then this is a measure of fineness of resolution and repeatability of the instrument. The more accurate, the more precise the measurement, the less the precision error, the better will be our results. And uh, generally associated, uh, these are the things that are generally associated with random errors. Significant uh, digits. Digits that are relevant and significant. And they are meaningful also. Let's say if we go to 10 or 20 digital points, decimal points, they may be of no use, they may be of no significance. So we have to decide or we have to have a cutoff point where we need to stop after decimals. And all this that we are talking about is in scientific terms, not in, in generality. Uh, and, so, and where precision and accuracy is important. When performing calculations, the final result is only as precise as the least precise parameter in the problem. When the number of significant digits is uh, unknown, the accepted standard is 3. If we don't know how many significant digits or how many digits we need to consider after the decimal point, then normally uh, we take three digits into consideration. The dimensional homogeneity is a valuable tool in checking for the errors. We need to make sure that every term in an equation have the same units. We are talking about example of the accuracy and of course the difference between accuracy and precision. A shooter, for example, is more precise in picture A 
but less accurate. You can see the marks up there. In picture A, he is precise in the sense that he is within the two circles, so therefore he is shooting okay. But when we call to precision, how precise he is, I don't think he is very, very precise. Away from the body, you can see there are a number of marks there. While the shooter B is more accurate, he is targeting at the desired places, the desired points that have been assigned to him, but he is less precise. Because in this case, as you can see, that he is crossing the circle. So, therefore, precision is not there. 